Hello, I pray that you are well today. What do you say? What do you say to someone that you love, someone you care for, someone you know well, who says, you know what? I really don't need God. I don't need God in my life. My life is just fine without him. I can live my life happily and free without any difficulty, without God. What do you say? It's a very difficult thing. You can't quote that scripture from Proverbs that says, the fool says in his heart there is no God. It doesn't really help anything to call someone a fool. But we know that in fact, if somebody goes through life not acknowledging the designer who has designed them, it only makes sense that there will be confusion at best, not even really the reality of knowing what my life really is all about. At our heart, at our core, we want to know why are we here? What's our meaning? What's our purpose? And how do we deal with the difficulties of life when we can't solve it ourselves? So I, I ask you, for those people in your life who say, I really don't need God, maybe the best way to go, at least in my experience, the best way to go is in fact to say what it means for you. Do you know what I love? Me, Jeff Schrank, what I love. I love the fact that I can be honest before God about my weaknesses, about my inabilities, about my insecurities and uncertainties, and I can be honest. Even though I'm not honest with people sometimes when they say, how you doing? I might say fine, when in fact I might be struggling with something, but I am honest before God. That honesty, that, that foundation of assurance is a great, great fundamental gift. And second, the question is, you know, I'm grateful for heaven. I'm grateful for this isn't all there is. If this is my last day on this planet, I know I'm going to spend eternity with Christ. And I know I'm going to have the fullness of joy. And I know that God is blessing me moment by moment, day by day. And I know that my life has purpose and meaning to him. So truthfully, it isn't a intellectual conversation frequently for people. You know, sometimes you have to ask yourself, is this an intellectual or an emotional question? An intellectual question, you can talk about the esoteric nature of this or the esoteric nature of that. But in terms of personal, emotional, is there something that's tied to how we are and our basic approach to life? The scripture does say, the fool says in their heart, there is no God. People are foolish because they don't see what they're tied to. But your life and my life have purpose and meaning because we are connected to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Please pray with me. Lord God, in this day, we pray for those who live life as if you don't exist, who live life as if you don't give them purpose and meaning and, and guidance and direction and hope and confidence. I pray that you bless and that you open up their hearts to see clearly what their life is because of you. We pray, Lord God, for your grace and your mercy in our lives. We thank you for your overwhelming sense of peace and strength. And we pray, as we ask you, that you would build in the hearts of those who don't know you true and saving faith. In Christ's name, amen. I pray. I pray for you. And I pray for the people in your life who are not walking with him. May they know him and that peace and that comfort and that faith and have that future heaven. God bless you.